Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in this session, so we are going to discuss one interview question in Core Java. So, that is where we can access some members of different access modifiers. Where we can access the members of different access modifiers, right? So, because we have four different types of access modifiers in Java. So, private, public, protected and package level is a default. So, once we apply all the access modifiers, so then, so means what, what are the bounds of accessing, all right. See here, suppose to understand clearly, we are taking two packages. So, this is one package, it's P1. So, what is the package which contains a related group of classes? So, we know that. Here, we are writing two classes, class A and class B. This is class B and this is class A, class A. And next here we are taking one more package, package P2. And in the package P2 also, so two classes we are writing. So one is class C, one is class C and next one is a class D. But see, so there is a parent child relation between class A and class C. So here class C is extending class A. Here C is child of A, child of A. So total we are taking two packages. Here it is in the first package, two classes A and B and in the second package, so two classes C and D. And here it is in the class A, so first package class A. So we are defining four variables with the four different access modifiers, private int A. And if you are not applying any access modifier, by default it is a package level. Third one is a public and last one is a protected is a protected okay so means what four access four variables with four different access modifiers so after defining so now where we can access all these modifiers all these variables and all suppose if it is a private variable so private variable you can access only within the class strictly within the class here you can access only within class A. So these are the bounds. Right here it is in the class A only you can access. And suppose next one is a default. So default is nothing but package level class. And here it is class A is in a P1 package. So in the entire P1 package you can access the functionality. Right B functionality you can access. See here within the class you can access and within the class B you can access and within the package. Suppose in this package 1000 classes are there, in all the 1000 classes you can access B. And next one suppose if it is a public, right, so public means what, no limitations, right, in all the packages and in all the classes you can access class A, so class B within the package and from outside package from class C and from class D from everywhere you can access. So that is public. And next only one thing we have to remember. So that is protected, right? If it is a protected member, it is available within the class and within the package, within the package. In the same package it is allowed, but from the outside package only from the child class, okay? See here it is class D is not the child class of A. Right, but class C is the child class of A. So there is a parent child relation. Of course, two classes belongs to two different packages, but still there is a relation, is a relation. So that you can access. You can access only from C, not from the D. So that is protected. Right. So here the private means what? You can access only within the class. And the default is nothing but package level means what? So the name itself it is saying that within the package you can access. The public means what? No limitations. Everywhere you can access. So that you have to remember only one thing. It's a protected one. 
within the package you can access in all the classes and but from the outside package so only from the jail classes you can access okay so this is simply accessibility right so of all the variables of all the variables defined with the different access modifiers okay so hope you understood for more videos please subscribe to narish it channel thank you thank you all